Okay, originally I planned to record this video a little bit later, but things went much better than I thought they would, so I'm recording it this weekend. And actually, as I'm recording it, I'm running the bot on the computer over here uh, just to see if it's gonna repeat the same thing it did before I started recording. So if, it, if the trades are gonna be as good. And also I'm trying to crash it just because I want to be able to leave it for like hours or maybe days uh, without me being at the computer and I don't want it to crash and um, break everything so I have to restart it. And actually I came up with like a lot of improvements for it. So chances are if you're watching this video then I already made some improvements or made a part two or maybe I'm actually in the process of doing it. And in this video, I quickly wanted to go through five things. Number one is the idea behind this experiment, and this is actually very simple. I mostly did it for fun, just to uh, practice programming on a very small project and see if I can apply something I learned at work or so on. I actually did a diagram for it, which is something I have never done before uh, for a side project. And also I wanted to see what's gonna happen if I execute just random trades over some period of time on like currencies, which are kind of changing a lot. So this time I did it on the ones that have like the most percent change in the last 24 hours. So the next thing is the implementation of the bot. I have to say, I'm not a professional trader. I tried it and it is very complicated. So for this experiment, I had to massively simplify it for myself. And so what I did is I wrote down a list of things I wanted it to have. And it was just basic things like a wallet, keeping records of the transactions, um, having a way of keeping track of the coins on the market and just basic things like that and right away I started working on the UML diagrams for this uh, program so that's the UML diagram I had at the moment uh, I ended up changing it but the main parts are the core trader pulls everything together that makes sense then the market scanner and the market actually grab the coin data from the market. I wanted to use Selenium, but then I ended up using just CoinMarketCap API. And the last main part is the trading strategy, which for this video was just um, grab all the coins which had the most percentage change in the last 24 hours, select five of them, buy them, hold for um, like 30 minutes, then sell and repeat the same process again. So I'm basically buying and selling coins which had the most changes. And I'm hoping that the coins that actually had the most changes, they're gonna have another huge change, hopefully upwards. At this point, it was uh, time to do a test run. And you can see the logging here, which uh, tells me at what time I uh, sold the coins, what time I bought the coins, their prices and what I have in the wallet at the moment. And the biggest takeaway I got from those tests is that I swapped out from using Selenium to CoinMarketCap API because Selenium was just uh, crashing a lot. It's just because I don't know how to use it. I've never used it before. Um, so I was getting a lot of crashes and also it was very slow to run. So I went back to using CoinMarketCap API. It's something I have used before and it actually works just like every other API. They're all the same. You send requests, you get responses and the CoinMarketCap actually have a very good plan, non-paid plan where I can do like 333 requests, I think per day. And all I needed was one per 30 minutes. So, so that was a great situation. I swapped and life became much easier. Number three was running an initial test and number four is actually leaving it overnight to run. And I was very pleased with what happened because I did. And so here are the logs from uh, last night. And basically uh, I started at around, uh, you can see here at, at around 11 o'clock with uh, 10,000 euro. And basically what happened is by 2.30 at night, um, the coins were sold and we had 10,663 euro. So that was uh, 663 in, uh, what is it like? Two, two and a half, three hours. So I was kind of happy with that. And, but what happened next is there was a bug because you can see that no more trades happened. And the bug was actually because of a stupid check that I was doing where 
you can see here that two of the same coins were actually purchased because I was uh, telling it that it needs to have five different coins in order to kind of keep going. But here it ended up spending money on uh, the same coins. So that was kind of stupid, but I fixed that in the morning. And also I had another crash in the morning where um, it was trying to look up a coin which didn't exist anymore in my main data. And I forgot to check uh, the backup data that I have. So I fixed that. And uh, so far uh, you can see here that I started another run. When I started recording the video today, it was like at 10.30 and now it's like almost 3 o'clock. So something did go wrong here because it was meant to execute another trade because it's um, it's been an hour since it did. Uh, but you can see here that there was a, a lot of trades done and also it started with 10,000 and now it's up to like 11,500. Um, there were moments where it was like at 10.5 here and then it went back down to... 10,150 but yeah it ended up going back up okay you know what I was like okay this is too good to be true so I decided to I thought like maybe something is broken so I decided to take like an example coin like for example this p data that grew from like uh 2000 to like three and a half thousand here in a matter of 30 minutes and I actually went to coin market cap API at P data here. And then I saw that in this exact moment, that was like around like 130 or 2.30 something, I bought it on this low here and ended up selling it like when it was the highest. So it made almost like double. Uh, that was just like luck. I don't expect it to happen a lot, but yeah, that was fun. Okay, I had to turn on the light, it's already getting dark. I've been doing this for the entire day. And basically, before I get to number five, I wanted to say, um, if you got to this stage, please put a thumbs up. If you like the video, it's gonna help it to spread. And yeah, that's just gonna be good. And um, so number five is just a list of improvements. I have uh, a couple here. For example, better transaction system, better recording of transactions, improved error handling, um, I left a bunch of comments in the code, which I want to fix up. And for example, I could come up with a better trading strategy. Like, um, let's say if the coin is dropping down and it's like down by 1% already, I don't have to wait until it drops further. I can already sell it. Yeah, so these are just some ideas. Okay, it's the next day. I couldn't keep recording yesterday, but I just want to finish this off by saying, please don't try this with real money. Uh, this was just a coding experiment. It's not gonna work in real life. Uh, but if you want to practice it and code, do it. You're going to enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. And yeah, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.